Hi everybody, my name is John. I'm in the product marketing team uh, at ChargePoint. And today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what's happening in EV fleets. So the first thing that people often ask is, well, what is a fleet? So I put up this definition because what you see here is almost every kind of vehicle can be considered a fleet, which makes the topic of fleets very broad. So we looked at how do you want to categorize it? So we broke it down like this because it helps us to better uh, you know, get control over what we're really talking about when it comes to fleet. Now, why these are important? Well, these fleets, they're the kinds of things that help people uh, ride where they need to go. It helps them drive as part of their job and it helps them to deliver the goods that we all rely on. So with those those categories of fleets in mind, let's take a look to see what's actually happening uh, today. So if you look at the world of electric vehicles, there's you know about a half a million on the road right now. Most of these are passenger vehicles, but passenger vehicles can be considered fleets as well. And if you don't look, not even in the far future, only about five years, you can see that there's explosive growth. Now that 2.5 million number may look really big, but if you look at a company like FedEx, and I looked at their corporate website just a little while ago, and their, their fleet is 180,000 motorized vehicles. Now, even if you take 10% of those vehicles and they become electrified, you're almost halfway to that 2013 target for medium duty and heavy duty vehicles. So. Fleets are looking at electric vehicles. They make a lot of sense. So let's look at the individual categories that I talked about. We'll start with the transit fleet. Now, if you were to do a simple Google search right now, you'd find that there's over 50 pilots of electric buses happening right now. And it is something that is happening globally but it's really interesting to see how much of it is happening right here in the US. Uh, electric buses make a lot of sense because they have predefined routes and electric vehicles can easily meet the needs of, of what a transit bus has to do. Next, let's look at what's happening in public sector. And you might notice the Canadian flag there, that's because I'm Canadian and I had to make sure to get a Canadian fact in. And also, Inez, uh, one of our designers, helped me with this presentation, so I had to put something about Ohio in there. But the real, what this is showing is that there is a commitment at federal level, at the state level, provincial level, and even at the municipal level to introduce electric vehicles as part of government operations. So lastly, we look at commercial fleet. And commercial fleets, they don't do things unless it makes financial sense. So when I saw this quote, what it really said to me is it's validating what we as a company established over 10 years ago and that the reality of electric vehicles is happening. Now, when it comes to commercial fleets, they, they don't as much care about creature comforts. They're both more focused on reliability and functiona functionality which is why electric vehicles make a lot of sense for commercial fleets. So where are things going? Well, let's start with uh, what's something that I think is pretty obvious, but is not really apparent to a lot of people. And that is that fleet vehicles are definitely gonna electrify faster than passenger vehicles. And I hinted at this on my previous slide. That is, there's less of an issue around uh, individual taste and preference. It's more about functionality and reliability. So commercial vehicles, it doesn't matter what color they come in because they're gonna get painted over anyways and have a logo slapped on them. What I think is really more interesting is the way that energy is going to be used as part of the fleet solution. Um, my manager had a great quote or a great way of describing this and that is electric vehicles are gonna become mobile energy storage devices. And that is really cool because from that point of view, 
they're going to be able to you're going to take be able to take the vehicles and then contribute back into the grid now other things that are happening in this space is you're going to see more the appearance of microgrids the inclusion of solar wind and battery storage as part of the overall charging ecosystem and to bring this all together you need software that understands all the components and be able to bring it together so from there we go into the fleetification of everything just curious how many who here took a ride share to the hotel or to the conference center and that's about a hundred percent that's because Brittany did uh, set this up but anyways um, you know what that is showing is that there is definitely a movement to ride sharing and car sharing and that means that the way that people think about vehicles is changing personal vehicle ownership will continue but more and more people are going to learn that sharing vehicles makes a lot more sense which brings us to smart cities so when i talk about smart cities i'm really talking about smart traffic management and the ability to get people where they need to be in an efficient manner when you think about uh, the autonomous vehicles and fleetification of everything it all comes together and it's going to happen a little bit sooner than we think i uh, when i was talking to my mom about this she didn't get the idea concept of autonomous vehicles and why why it was important until i told her you don't have to worry about driving to the doctor you don't have to worry about driving to the grocery store a vehicle is going to show up it's going to take you there and everything will it'll be ready when you're ready to go home and then she asked me can i get one tomorrow so um, unfortunately not just to recap what's really happening is the electrification of fleets is happening it's happening faster than we expect and if you want to find out more information go to our website we have a bunch of information on fleets also we have people here you can that'll be able to answer your questions and if you're interested on what it takes to manage an EV fleet. I've got a presentation on that as well. Thank you.